Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Railway Empire. I hope everyone's got their engineer hats on today, because I'm once again very excited to be playing this game. What we're going to do is we're going to play another scenario today, as opposed to going through the campaign, and we've done the east, we've done the west, so I think now we're going to go south. I haven't actually looked at this area at all, but it should be considerably less hilly, I think, than any of the other places, other than maybe the northwest corner of it. Um, and I'm expecting a lot of dry desert as well as a search for some black gold. So we're going to see exactly how that works out. I'm going into this one completely blind. Very excited to see how it looks. Um, we are locked in this scenario because we're not playing in free play. Uh, we're going to start with $1 million. Start in Kansas City. We have two competitors. We're going to leave all these settings to normal over here. Together, Let's get it started. We shall conquer them all. Now, we are gonna pick who are we gonna pick i don't we haven't actually played as the general i don't why think should we play uh underworld higher we freight price is pretty good the tech's pretty good you, ticket I prices i mean these are all pretty strong uniform. i think i'm gonna go ahead with the general i, I like the idea of the uh, discounted uh, track prices uh so we'll, we'll leave the names as is jonathan johnson and the steel empire do love that name quite a bit let's get it started i really like this cutscene, or not cutscene, but like uh Loading screen, I guess, is this sort of painting style. Feels very excellent. I like the mountains in the background. All right, here we go. We cannot mourn the old days when this was all undeveloped open prairie. Progress is unstoppable, and we are approaching a new century with giant strides. Now it's time to open up the oil fields in Texas. All right, that sounds good. So we've got competitors down in the southeast here, connecting San Antonio's Corpus Christi and Houston and in the northwest, Albuquerque, Santa Fe. Uh, is it is it Raton or Raton? I don't know how uh, the Texans pronounce it. And Denver. Oh, goes really? Denver. Wow. Okay, this is a much larger uh, covered area. Now we're starting at the top right corner here, the northeast with Kansas City, and we actually had a fair distance to go to connect any of the other nearby towns. That being said, it is pretty flat, which is going to make it easy to work with. Salinas a size two city, which isn't too too bad. So we might start there just to get some passenger traffic back and forth. And Kansas City, do you want wheat or corn or what is this? Lopez pit? Oh, coal. Coal, coal, coal. And then we've got some sugar. Uh, sugar, sugar. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So you do want corn and you do want grain. Okay. You want, you also want sugar right now. Do you have demand for coal yet? Um, no, no demand for coal. You might get demand as the city grows or might need a particular uh, industry. I think we'll go ahead and we'll start with a route, um... A passenger route here and then we'll sort of I don't know what we're gonna do to connect things up exactly uh, let's get started with a building first we'll start with a size oh yeah we have a train station here already right 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 um, size 2 in fact I suspect we're gonna want the large one but that might but we might not have the cash for that right this second so let's go ahead and get a station smack dab in the middle there. What did this start with here? Just a size one station? Oh, no, size two. That's not too shabby. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to connect up the bottom most of these tracks between the two towns. Saving the north one for probably a mutual stop at the, uh, the grain spot. Like that. All right. Fairly good route. Zero percent incline. Man, that is going to be really nice to run some trains on that. And with that, I guess we can start a new train right away. We'll set the locomotive line between Kansas City and Selena. And that's good. I don't think we have to specify any special instructions for the cargo. And the one train we have access to right now is the NYC American. Top speed is 68 miles an hour. 63% uh, attractive power over here. We are really not going to need a lot of power rating um, if we are going to be using if the land is going to be pretty flat it's going to change our priority for some of these um uh, for some of these trains we're going to look at our object objectives in a moment but we're going to go and get the basics set up here um selena do you need you need grain you need corn and you actually don't have any right now um although if we deliver it to kansas city there's a chance it'll actually get picked up and carried over what do you bring right now just a bunch of passengers and mail okay 
that's going to be good. If you can keep going that way, I'm going to be very pleased with that. Now, we are going to want to go to double roads or double tracks and a fairly sophisticated setup as soon as possible. I might be a little early for it right now. Ooh. Is that us? King of Rails. Wow. Um, might be a little early for that right now. Okay, let's go and get another station set up over here for the grain. I'm going to set it up uh, a little further away so that we don't have to run quite as far. And for this, I'm going to run the track in a way that mostly runs parallel here and then diverges off and goes there. You are going to... Oh, hang on. Delete. Okay, something must have connected a little oddly. But we're good now? Awesome, okay, done. Oh, I may even not have connected it properly at the other end. That might have been what happened. And there we go. So we're not treating this truly as a double track here where each one is its own direction. Um, but that should be okay. We are going to need some supply stops and things. I may as well do that now before I forget. Supply towers do have integrated signals. So if we do sort of this before and after the split, that should um, stabilize things at the Colin Estate. Uh, do we want to have just one train service the grain going back and forth? That's probably okay because I don't think we're going to get as much grain as we might like. So your thing is going to be start at the Collins Estate, go to Kansas City, go back to the Collins Estate, go to Salina. And at the Collins Estate, I want you to fill to the max and fill to the max. So we'll grab full car loads every time we wait. And yes, I guess you'll go with the NYC American and that's gonna be good enough. Now we do have some personnel to purchase, including, and very excited, the inventor over here. The inventor is spend money, get innovation points. So we're gonna do that. And another one over here sounds great. We can use the headhunter to steal a employee from someone else, but I'm okay with not doing that. So we got plenty of research points oops, available here. Um, what are we going to do with it? We can't get this locomotive until we unlock more stuff. We could get the Columbia here, which is a slightly slower but more powerful train. We really don't need that here because of our flat, flat ground. So what we'll probably do is get some of these innovations here that gives us 20% uh, more cash on fruit and veg. Boom. And then we are out of innovation points, but we'll probably keep doing... A fair bit of this which one is this for cattle for example yeah I like that okay so now that things are running and we've got a little bit of income coming in there's all your grain nice and I can't remember can we upgrade farms we could purchase it and then we can start upgrading it we'd be very tempted to take a look at that although right now it's got plenty of stuff stored in to service both talents so maybe you're okay all right tasks our earliest tasks Reach a population of 50,000 in Kansas City. Well, as long as we supply Kansas City with the things that it wants, it will grow. Connect four cities that we're going to work for. Uh, build a rail network with total length of... That is a lot of miles of... of, of Selena dwindles. Uh-oh, it's running out of uh, supplies. That is a lot of rail. Now, we do have eight years to do that. So there's a good chance, actually, we will just complete this on its own without thinking about it. Then we're going to have transport loads of oil, produce oil, so we're going to have to buy our own um, oil factory. I don't think we need a spy. So Selena just shrunk down, and it's still shrinking. What is it desperate for? Kind of a little bit of everything. Now, it is going to get a grain delivery soon. Let's go and get corn here as soon as possible. Um, I'm wondering if I'm going to do the same thing with the corn that I did with the grain and just get a dedicated stop for it. Now, really, that track one's not getting enough traffic to worry about it that much, and I might be able to piggyback. Now, for now, I think what we're just going to do... Um, oh, we need maintenance sheds as well. I guess we'll build one here and expand the station. There we go. So it's got four tracks, and we'll expand over here as well. It's, it's going to be fine. That's not what I want to do. I want to click on the... Station, expand you. I don't think we're going to need the um, um, 
the maintenance shed over here the same way. So I want you to run like that and wait here because I forgot to actually build the station over here. Small train station. And rotate thusly. Excellent. And similarly over here, we'll run it a little bit that way so we've got some room to work. How come you can't... How come you can't make that corner? Start here. Maybe we won't go quite as far. Excellent. Lock you in. And from here... Merge you up that way. And then, can we get a supply tower across a triple? Oh, you can! May as well do that. Oh, and this one auto-expanded to be the triple. Oh, lovely. Okay, good. So, um, they'll be able to manage themselves just here. So, we're going to make another train. And we're going to prioritize... Cattle car. Yes, I would love to buy that. Uh, rather than spend innovation points. And then you're going to come back to Roswick Preserve. And you're going to go to Kansas City. And... Excuse me, but could you keep out of this? No, you're no, no. driving the price up. Well, I'm not driving the price up. I'm buying it because it's awesome. And we did win that. So we spent, what, 30 grand to save ourselves like 300 innovation points? That's great. Okay. Albuquerque grows? Oh, that's someone else's town. We need a locomotive. We'll get the American on there and buy. All right. So you should be filling up with corn over here. And you will deliver it to Selena first, which will help satisfy another one of its requirements. So it'll shrink if it doesn't have enough of its stuff. It'll grow if it has all of its stuff. So we could also improve its growth if we got logs and meat over here. And I do want it to grow because it'll produce, you know, just more passengers and just be better and everything like that. Now, Kansas City is the, the thing we actually have a quest to grow over here. And we'll see how that goes. What do you have over here now? So you have a brewery. So as long as you get grain, you'll make alcohol. And, oh, you do have a requirement or a request for coal now. You, it is developed by Don Lorenzo. But you will take coal and produce chemicals. Now, what do we do with the chemicals is the question. These towns don't actually want chemicals. But presumably, oh, as it gets bigger, it'll want it. We got another inventor ready to go. Hello, Chris Black. Welcome to the party. We do have enough to research to unlock something. Oh, you know what? I'll grab the automated bell now. It's relatively cheap. We've already got the cattle car over here. Increased reliability is good. That also gives us a third innovation, so we can pick up the PRRD-12 next. It's slow and it's got a lot of tractive power. Again, what I really want, I think, on this map, there, there will be places for it, but what I mostly want is really fast trains. So we could connect up to Wichita, getting a little bit more passenger traffic, and that wouldn't be terrible. We could get more corn into Selena as well from back here. And what is this? Cement. Cement. We could actually get it so that the Collins Estate just feeds Kansas City, so that his brewery gets more resources. Well, we don't really have enough money to expand right this second, so maybe I'll hold off on the corn from here. But it's certainly something to consider. So what is our next expansion going to be? I mean, we could expand to Wichita just to get another town connected and so that we can get more passenger traffic. Man, it's not terribly big. I'm wondering about doing a giant run from Selena down to Amarillo. Um, where... Do we know where the oil is? Wow, it's a lightning storm. That's cool. I can't see the oil. There's oil in them narrow hills. Oh, it's up here! Okay, and we know we're going to want to transport this stuff. My spy informed me that you need to urgently clean up your oh, research department. Stole one of my Those secret construction plans are lying Is all that what the spy over does? the place. Oh, well, geez. All right. Sure, we'll steal something back from Beatrix. I didn't realize it stole a tech for some reason. And that's pretty good. I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to connect from Selena down to Amarillo. And that way we'll be quite close to some oil. Wasn't there another oil... Somewhere over here.
Do you weirdly produce oil? I'm confused. Oh, is it just because I'm zoomed out a bunch? It's it's adding things together. I wonder what's going on over here. Uh, ticket machine received. Oh, cool. We got um. We stole a tech. Now, what is this? Increase the power of your locomotives by 10%. Again, power's not the most critical, but it's still not bad. Or we could just unlock this train. I mean, unlocking the train is pretty cheap and helps push us up a few different ways. I like moving us towards the Rogers 10 wheel, which is very fast. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Oh, this new locomotive looks... How much money do I have? Probably not enough. What personnel do I have? A stoker for more reliability, which isn't bad. All right, let's do... We'll do a little connection to Wichita here. What I'll probably do is piggyback on maybe the bottom most track here. Not going to worry too much about delivering goods to Wichita. A station here? How carefully did you consider that? Shush. It's fine. Oh, actually, I can use maybe this connection over here in Selena. I think that's going to be swell. Okay, like this. Oh, do we have uh, Kansas City is dwindling? Oh, come on. We need to get some lumber. And maybe the sugar, because there was demand for sugar, although I don't know if there still is. Uh, damn, that's really unfortunate. Can I fit a supply tower over here? No, I am going to want one on the track here somewhere. So we'll put it, I don't know, halfway. That's going to be fine. And we'll probably want um, a maintenance factory in uh, Selena now, but that's okay. So Wichita to Selena, lock that in, add locomotive. Uh, is it cheaper by any chance? No, it's way more expensive. So yeah, I'm still very happy to be using the American. And uh, you know what? We will purchase the Stoker for you. Sure, why not? So you get the more reliability. That's going to be fine and fine. And you're loading a few resources. Oh, I can't believe these things are shrinking. Army Massacres Indians. Oh, gosh. Artillery against women and children. Yeah, that's terrible. That is really bad. Come on. Why would you do that? Okay, right. I do have to get the coal over here, which actually will be pretty easy to do. Uh, let's go over here. We'll just get you to come in on the far side over here, which should be perfectly fine and not really cause too much in the way of conflict. We're going to add a new line from the Lopez Pit to here. Uh, we'll make sure that at the Lopez Pit, you don't leave unless you've got a full load of cars and add locomotive. And I know the American is like well suited to express, but it's still cheap, so it's still going to be fine. Oh. Am I double buying that? I'm worried that I've double bought that actually by hitting the button wrong. Do, 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 do. Okay, so we're going to deliver coal. I don't know if they still want sugar. But I think I'm going to go ahead and get that set up. Because hopefully they'll grow. And yeah, I'm just going to go and use one of the other tracks from the back. Ooh. Can I get you to run parallel over here? Like that? Thank you. And do that curve. I could have also just manipulated things to get it to fit in. But that's going to be fine. Okay. Train, locomotive, Clark Farm to Kansas City. And add locomotive. This one. Close that. And, oh yeah, on the route, make sure that at Clark Farm, you pick up up to eight. Save and exit. We got another spy. I will go and purchase the spy. And I'm going to send you to Don Lorenzo this time to steal something different. Okay. So at least our money is coming in fairly well. I'm really worried about Kansas City. So that's full of sugar. And it only has the seven cars because I didn't set the limit right away. And you still want sugar? You do still want sugar. That's good. So hopefully your demands are going to be satisfied. Are you currently growing? No indicator about it yet. Logs and meat are still something that it would really like. 
We got, we stole the condensation tender. Okay. Logs and now this is cattle. I don't know if we have a meat processing plant anywhere. Uh, we do in Wichita actually, so that is going to be our next priority, I think. Get the cattle delivered to Wichita, which will make us some money. And then we are... Random breakdown, okay. Um, oh, I do want to make sure now to get a maintenance shed in Selena here because there are some trains now that are only visiting Selena as opposed to visiting Kansas City. I can't believe Selena. We, we got it to shrink. That is sad. And it wants some logs as well. But we'll at least get it some meat very soon. Now, I think if we just deliver meat from Wichita to Selena, I think if Selena's got an excess of meat, it will get brought over to Kansas City. So I think it's going to be okay. It's got its own brewery now. Hmm. We'll be making chemicals over here, not really doing anything with it. And we're really just making money for Don Lorenzo. But I don't, I don't think that's much of a problem. I'm actually wondering if I should buy the brewery. We'd start an auction for it. I don't have a lot of cash. I might actually just wait until we've got a bunch more money and then see if I can get the brewery. So we can unlock uh, the steam superhero heater for 10% more power. Again, power is not what we're looking for, but it's never bad. If we do this, we get more reliability, reduce maintenance, reduce maintenance. That's all good. But we can also... Oh, no, we need uh, six technologies to get the 10-wheeler, which is really what I want to do. So I may as well go ahead and do this. We're going to try to unlock things when we've got the innovation points and then move forward. You know what? I think this is a plenty good place for us to put a bit of a cut in. I like our little initial setup over here. I think it is turning a profit. Uh, maybe we overbuilt on track, but it is going to scale up very well. Um... Yeah, it will. Assuming we can get our cities to grow. I'm a little concerned. Wichita is growing, so thank goodness there. Uh, it's probably getting a trickle of cattle in automatically here. Uh, if I go here and check cattle. Yeah, the cattle's moving a little bit on its own. So it's getting supplied with meat, so it's being it's fairly happy. But the other towns are definitely having a bit of an issue. But we're going to see if we can't resolve that next time. Thank you very much for watching, folks. And I will see you guys next time.